In this video, we're going to derive the mean and the variance of a zero truncated binomial distribution. And very briefly, a zero truncated binomial distribution is it's a binomial distribution with the possibility of a zero occurring removed. So it goes from one to n as opposed to zero to n. And in the real world, there might be a case where you can't observe nothing. You know, you have to see one or more events or outcomes to even measure it. And so you know the events of binomial, but you can't measure the zero outcome. And so you have a zero truncated binomial. So X, as a quick reminder, if X is binomial, NP, then the probably mass function is this, n choose x, p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x, x goes from 0 to n. So a zero truncated binomial is, um, we're going to call it y, it's equal to x, but for only x greater than 0. So the zero cases are removed. So the density or probably mass function is the it's the probability mass function for x, which is this, divided by 1 minus the probability of x. So this is essentially saying we're normalizing the uh, probability mass function so it sums to 1. So 1 minus the probability that x equals 0 is actually the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. And so it normalizes it. But it, it's easier to write it like this. And so this is it. This is probably mass function for y equals 1 to n. And so you, you might ask, is it really a probability, or I say PDF, but probably mass function? Let's, let's check it. So let's sum our probably mass function from 1 to n, and it should sum to 1. And so that we just plug in the, the formula. Then... This denominator is not indexed by y, so it can come out, and we get this. Now, to this, we're going to add a well-chosen 0. If we add 0, it doesn't change it. So notice the sum goes from 1 to n. Here we go from 0 to n. So we added in the 0 case. We have to subtract it back out. Well, th since it's a probably mass function, the binomial is... And we know that this sums to 1, so you got 1 minus 1 minus p to the n, which is what this is, so it does equal 1. Now, the mean of y is the sum over all possibilities, you know, y times its probability mass function. Well, notice that if we go from 1 to n, that's the same as if we go from 0 to n, right? When y is 0, this is 0, so we're not adding anything to it. We're adding zero. But when we plug in our probably mass function and then the denominator, you know, we take out because it's not indexed by y, we get this. Well, this is looks like the mean of a binomial, which we know is n times p. And then so this is the this is the mean of a zero truncated binomial distribution. So to find the variance, it's easier to find the second factorial moment and then find the variance using it. So the second factorial moment means you go y times y minus 1. There's two terms here. That's why it's the second factorial moment. And that says you plug this in times its probably mass function summed over all values. But notice if we go, it's from 1 to n. But if we go from 0 to n, you know, you plug in zero, this is zero, so you're really not, you're adding zero. So it's okay if we sum it from zero to n. But when we sum it from zero to n, you know, we, we, we put in what the probability mass function is and we factor out the denominator because it's not indexed by y. Well, this is a second factorial moment of a binomial, which we know is n times n minus one times p, p squared. And so this is the second factorial moment of a zero truncated binomial distribution. And then, um, and I'm going to refer you back to a video that I call the mean invariance of a binomial distribution, 
where we derive this NP and then this is the second factorial moment of a binomial. So the variance would be this formula, right? So this, if we, if we look at this, that's y squared minus y. And the expected value is a linear operator. And then so the, the minus expected value cancels with that. And we're just left with the expected value of y squared minus the mean squared. So this is a formula for the variance. And let's plug it in. We found this to be this uh, uh, fraction here. And then the mean is NP over 1 minus 1 minus P with the nth. And then the mean squared is you square all the terms. Now let's find a like denominator here, which means we have to multiply the, this denominator by this piece. That's what this is. And then, of course, I multiplied that to get this. This piece is here. And then since the denominator is already there, we get this. Now, in here, there's an NP common in all the terms. So we factor it out. And then we multiply it through. So this piece going backwards is this. The NP was factored out, so we get this. And then when you multiply this through, you get this piece here. And of course, it's over the same denominator. Now, a lot of this simplifies the NP minus NP, etc. And we have a common term there, which we can factor out. And it reduces to this. And so that is the variance of a zero truncated binomial distribution. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.